Hello all, Miranda here, and I've got a terrain review for you. So the company Playmaths.eu, it's a Polish company, reached out to me to do a review for some products they're selling through Kickstarter on these resin, pre-painted, pre-assembled, high-quality bridges. Now, Playmats.eu has been around a while. Again, it's a Polish company. They sell a lot of flat terrain, you know, pre-made rivers. They do the neoprene mats. They do vinyl mats, um, the, the dry erase ones, as well as latex mats. And so it seems like they're pushing into a new avenue of terrain building, the um, pre-painted terrain. You can check out their website. I've got it linked in the video description. You can see all of the things that they offer. So they're a professional company and they've been doing this for a while. Well, now they're pushing more into the 3D terrain environment and they're doing that by offering these pre-painted, very highly detailed bridges. So they offer three primary designs of bridges, two of which have a variant on them. And they sent me two bridges to review for this video. So the first bridge they sent me is the Orkish Wooden Bridge. Now, the standard wooden bridge does not have any of the extra details like the tusks and the, you know, scraps of fabric and stuff on it. For the purpose of the Orkish Bridge, though, you can see they've added all these extra details to make it look more tribal, like it's in a more rural environment, that it's really aged. They've got really, really beautiful detail. You see some netting, like skeletal remains, of course, tusks and horns. Now, what you're seeing here is exactly what this bridge looked like coming out of the box. It just arrived, I unbubble wrapped it, and put that on my table. So you can tell that the attention to detail from the painting side is actually really quite good. One thing I did notice is that both sides of the bridge are identical. So you'll see the same gimbling on either side of it, but like I said, it is still well painted. It looks really beautiful on the table. This is setting on one of their flat river terrain pieces, so obviously they're designed to go really well together. One of the things I also noticed when I was taking it out of the box, because I knew it was a resin piece, was that it really wasn't that heavy. It feels substantial enough, but the piece itself doesn't feel unwieldy, uh, heavy if it falls on the table, it's, you know, very unlikely to just break. So a couple of specific things I like about the design of the bridge, and it seems to be across both of them, is one, the bridge is really wide. So these are several 50 millimeter based models that I've got running across the bridge. You can see that there's plenty of space. There's nothing cramped about it. There's no scraping of your bases. The other thing is that the arch itself, the grade of the bridge, doesn't get too steep for your models. I will say that my completely metal Warjax did slide a little bit uh, along the middling part of the bridge, but my plastic ones didn't move at all, so they were fine going across the bridge without any incident. There's no worries about it falling. The other bridge they sent me is called the Stone Bridge. This is their standard stone bridge. They also have an orcish version of it. This is the, the standard one. So you can see really, really beautiful detail in the cobblestones. The way it's painted does a lot to bring that detail out, but I think it's actually just really part of the mold too. There's a lot of texture in those, in those stones. Obviously this would look really beautiful on a cobblestone style map. But I have this one on the snow map just to, to kind of run over the snowy river that I've got. Again, the same grade, so you can see the Warjacks have no issue going across it. It handles several small based 30mm uh, models too, so obviously if you're running 40k, your 25mm models or your 32mm models are going to be just fine as well. They do have these models as both unassembled and unpainted versions. So you can, if you're trying to save some money, you can pick them up that way and paint them yourselves. Something like the stone bridge would be really easy, I think, to, to paint up without, without too much issue. And since these bridges have been sent to me, they've actually added a new bridge design called Dark Industrial Bridge, which is super 40k. It's this high gothic architecture absolutely gorgeous bridge. Instead of having a smooth archway that you move over, it actually has these steps that you can move along. So if you are worried about bigger models, they can actually just stay on a nice level surface without having to slide around on the bridge. It fits your high gothic 40k world perfectly. It's 
really, really beautiful bridge. I am actually going to pick one of those up. So they're offering some really cool things. Obviously these models are really beautiful. I think the shots that I'm showing you kind of convey that. Some nice things that they're offering for the Kickstarter is again, you don't have to buy them pre-painted or even pre-assembled. If you want, they will just send you the pieces. The bridges come in three pieces. So, you know, the actual flat part you move across on the two sides, pretty easy to glue together. And if you feel like painting it up yourself, you can do that and save some money that way. The other thing is, for about 30 bucks more, you get it pre-painted. So depending on how much of a backlog of models you have, it may be worth just having somebody paint up that terrain. Unless you're trying to do something special with a theme. I know terrain tends to fall to the back burner for a lot of hobbyists. We, we all collect tons of models and uh, they're not getting through your workflow so fast. So something like terrain, it's kind of nice to just have it ready to go out the door Especially, I mean, we do that with the neoprene mats now. We have these preset, photorealistic, really highly detailed mats. It would make sense to put stuff that fits in that world on top of it. So nice, highly detailed bridges. I'm also a huge fan of actual 3D terrain. So this fits really well with your forests. You have bridges. I mean, it just, it just makes the environment way more interesting to play on. So that is my review of the Resonarium Bridges. Thank you so much to Playmats for sending them to me. If you are interested in checking out their Kickstarter, check out the link I've included in the video description. That way they know I sent you. And also let me know what you think of it. What do you think of pre-painted terrain? What do you think of 3D terrain versus 2D terrain? Is this something that if you receive, would you likely be painting it yourself? Or is it worth the convenience of just having it ready for you out of the box? Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next time.